Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, and I'm a chef on a mission. Seven most toxic fish that you should avoid. Yes, fish can be toxic. Number seven, Atlantic bluefish. This is the last fish. Atlantic fish. High mercury content of tuna has been known for some time, but the Atlantic bluefin is the highest in mercury of all tuna species. It is also greatly over harvested. While most species of tuna contain mercury, some have significantly lower amounts than others. For example, albacore tuna raised and sold in the U.S. and Canada is less toxic option. That's what we serve at our restaurant. Pacific caught, Northwest Pacific caught albacore tuna, small fish, 25 pounders, old enough to reproduce, but small enough not to bioconcentrate all the harmful mercury. Since it is caught young, it hasn't had time to saying the same thing that I just said. Um, I've been serving this fish for well over 15 years, longer than that. Um, that was one of the first fish I got turned on to. If you select canned tuna, and if so, make sure you consume it only occasionally since it contains toxic calcium blocking BPA. You should be aware that just a few months ago, several prominent brands of canned tuna pulled their products off the shelves in a voluntary recall. The reason was faulty cans allowing contaminants to infiltrate the tuna. You can also buy tuna now, canned tuna in pouches. And there are really some really better tuna products out there. The tuna we were talking about, the Pacific Northwest albacore tuna, you can actually get that in a can or a pouch now. Uh, there's all these better safe tunas in cans. You have to go to the health food store, probably a whole food type store to find these. You can even track back when and where they were caught. There's some really cool brands and some awesome stuff out there. So this is an important point to the bigger picture of toxin exposure. Not only are these toxins everywhere, but their presence often goes undetected until exposure and or ingestion. This is why periodic detoxification is so important for your bones and general health. So there are other types of tuna out there too, like Fijian albacore tuna would also be another good choice. The fish are larger than 25 pounds and they're probably 50 or 50 or 75 pounds. So there's going to be a larger fish, but it's in a part of the Pacific Ocean from Fiji that is pristine, but don't forget tuna also swim and migrate. They can swim and migrate 2,000 miles. That's why that same fish that's in Fiji or in British Columbia could have been near Fukushima, could have traveled all the way across the ocean and back. So, but the younger fish don't swim as much as the older fish. The older fish have time to swim all throughout the whole ocean and just concentrate these mercuries through their food and everything and it's stored in their fat. And, you know, people love tuna because of its fat content. They love toro, toro, which is the belly of these, of these tuna, these sushi tuna, which is loaded with fat. And you can actually take toro or super toro. There's like 60% fat, by the way. You can actually take it out of the freezer, frozen, and start cutting it because it has so much fat, the fat never freezes all the way because you can't freeze oil, right? You can only freeze water-based things. So you have some flesh and mostly fat, and it just cuts like butter. So, um, or better than butter, actually. Uh, sometimes butter will get hard out of the freezer, and you, it'll chip and break away. This stuff, it's thin. You take a knife and you slice it. I've used it many times. I haven't used it in years, though. So those are the seven fish that you should avoid, the seven toxic fish, and those are the fish that I recommend as supplements. Uh, some of them the article recommended, some of them I recommended and expanded upon. And here's the list again. Imported shrimp, American eel, imported catfish, Atlantic salmon, orange roughy, Chilean sea bass, and Atlantic bluefin. Those are on the avoid list. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and definitely pass this on.